Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. Yesterday in the news, Terry Lake had an announcement that she had had at least a, a small success with the Arizona Supreme Court. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As always, this information I'm sharing is going to be compiled on a Facebook, and I'll give you a link to that because I don't think I can do a direct link to the Bluebird site. Okay, well, let's start here. In her statement about it, the Arizona Supreme Court ruled in favor of Carrie Lake in one important instance, signature verification issues. Now, why is that important? If you believe, as I believe, that, that there was extreme shenanigans in that balloting process and the results that were announced uh, for the winner weren't the true results, then even though they did that with their shenanigans, there were only 17,000 votes less than 1% of the voters that put the other candidate supposedly over the winning line. There are over 35,000 votes in Maricopa County that were mail in and they're going to be reviewing for a signature veracity to make sure the signatures match and that the uh, ballot should and could have indeed been counted. Now there were many other issues with that election and hats off to Miss Lake for continuing to push for some um, accountability and um, clarity and honesty, because if we don't, if we just give up and, and go away, which is what evil wants us to do when they've done their shenanigans, they prevail. And uh, so I, I admire her tenacity greatly. Now let's look at how the, uh, the mainstream media is spinning it, because that was kind of humorous too. As you can see, I did a clip of some of the things that the uh, that they uh, approved one of seven election claims, mostly rejected, mostly rejected. <laughs> Seems to be the theme, even here with the New York Times uh, link. YouTube should love this; it's very mainstream. They talk about how most of what she was asking for was dismissed as already having been sufficiently dealt with in lower courts. Funny how they spin that, huh? Kind of like being a little bit pregnant. <laughs> so she is, Miss Lake is presenting a very happy face that there is another at the state level pursuit that she can now go back to. And, uh, and then of course, you know, she's always said she'll take it all the way to the Supreme Court if she needs to. Then on the other hand, we know that our world is making some huge changes. And um, so I was just wondering what the universe would have to tell us about this. So let's think of a careful way to phrase this question. Okay, so Ms. Lake um, had the Arizona Supreme Court did approve one of the elements of Ms. Lake's lawsuit to be reviewed and um, for closer scrutiny, and that was for bail, ballot signatures to match verification. Is this going to, so our question should be to the universe, respectfully, will this result in a, um, in further changes to that balloting result? Will this be enough? to make a change and is, are there other insights or information the universe wants us to know about this uh, contested balloting result in Arizona? Let's find out. Okay, universe, <clears throat> will this uh, signature verification of ballots in Arizona make a change in results or pave the way for further changes in that result to happen. 
and other information or insights you'd like us to know. Okay, we've got the uh, Five of Cups, the Fool, Queen of Wands, the Magician, Knight of Wands, the Devil, the Star. Okay, it's interesting to see that uh, yeah, our question was indicated by the uh, Five of Cups, which is a card of loss and sadness, okay? <clears throat> and that is where Miss Lake is at now, is not necessarily sadness, but she was handed a loss that wasn't a true loss. She's been fighting an uphill battle ever since. Okay, we're getting our question situation clarified a little bit by the Fool card, which is our first major arcana. And... Uh, which helps put a more positive spin on this loss thing because the fool stepping out into new territory um, in faith. And she is in good faith pursuing her very legitimate claim to contest those results. Okay, now in the recent past, that's a beautiful card to show up. We got the queen of wands. That's an optimism card. So it does look like this is a favorable change in the wind for Miss Lake and her positions, okay? The magician also shows up here in the middle. Another, we got four major arcana showing up out of seven cards. Um, statistically, that's very, very relevant, okay? Because the major arcanas are just over a quarter of the deck. So when you have them showing up as more than 50% of the cards, it says the universe, first of all, it's an important question. And then that some of the answers they're getting are pretty clear cut. and. Uh, not necessarily sub subject now to change. So with the magician in the present position here for the current position, she is in a position now to manifest some change. Um, and that would be in those results. So this was a very positive spin, even though the uh, mainstream media is trying to say it was only one of her seven points in her lawsuit. It was a major one, and it's uh, understandable that she's excited about it. Moving forward to the near future, let's see what's showing up here, because we're looking at uh, what will the result be for this. Now, the Knight of Wands is showing up in the near future. And uh, the nice thing about him showing up, he's, he's a very positive energy. Um, doesn't back down from a challenge, just like Miss Lake hasn't. Okay. Now, he's understandably, but he's facing it, uh, facing some challenges from the uh, shenanigans crowd. Okay, who uh, wanted their person in that position. And uh, if you remember, I did a read on Miss Hobbs, the supposed governor of Arizona. She's now been sporting one of those uh, injury boots. <laughs> okay, now our less important insight card and information card is a star, but for me, it's not less important because it's the 17th one. And uh, that's my uh, alliance team, one of my alliance team cards, the 17 team. So she has a lot of support in this endeavor to uh, have some justice come about. You know, we've got the optimism card here. This is her chance to manifest a change and a change that would really change the results. Let's see if there's a few more cards for information here. The hanged man, okay. Um, yeah, I'd say this is going to actually Unless they can do more shenanigans on the ballot verification, this could change the results. Page of Pentacles showing up also here with, uh, and that's an opportunity card and a reliability card. So nice things. We have a card here, the Three of Pentacles, which is a firm foundation card. So she has. Her team has done their homework. They have been following things, following the rule of law and uh, making their case quite well. And our final card, we have the Empress showing up, a fifth major arcana. 
strong maternal energy, feminine energy, the divine feminine to the max. Okay. And uh, I would say it's looking good for, for Miss Slate to uh, um, cast enough doubt on those results that possibly have a good new election. Okay, let's recap. We were asking if this uh, signature verification um, element of Ms. Lick's lawsuits would be enough to affect some change in the balloting results or if there was other information the universe wanted us to know. We had a lot of major arcana show up in the read, which said that, uh, and we did get in the current that the, the magician showed up showing that this is an opportunity to manifest a change. The fool showed up again, starting out on a new path. And uh, the star showed up, which is, you know, one of my 17 cards. So I'm not going to say that as a result of this signature verification that Miss Lake is going to automatically be handed a change decision and a place in government that she won honestly. But uh, I do think it's going to bring enough information to light about the shenanigans that uh, there may be a new election as a result of this, at the very least. And let's keep our thoughts and intentions and prayers for that to be the case. Because we humans, not just Arizonans, not just Americans, but we humans, deserve a chance to have our votes counted honestly, no matter what the uh, balloting issue is about. And we need to stand up and say no more, no more shenanigans. We want some honest accounting until the day that the quantum voting system's up and running, which is gonna come when the quantum financial does. They'll dovetail in to our existence and make some big changes in our world. And I look forward to it. Okay, so in the meantime, we've been hopefully not as distracted by the Mr. T indictment as the mainstream wanted us to be. Hopefully, we've kept an eye on the fact that uh, the fiat dollar is still in incredible trouble, so is the Fed. <laughs> and like it or not, there's some big changes in the wind. And then hopefully, you've been listening to... Um, my reads about that and Liz Tara and I did a show most of it was about money and what we kept getting was that uh, our personal finances are not in any permanent danger even if banks are so don't let yourself get distracted by the news cycle you know we've talked about it there's the calamity of the week there's the worry of the week there's the hysteria of the week and usually those are distractions let's keep our eye on the prize okay and the prize is to have an improved plane of existence for humans where we're allowed to reach our full potential, life is valued, and we have access to clean food, clean water, and true healing medical care, at the very least. Let's throw in some good education in with that too, okay? <laughs> oh, and God bless all those in the Alliance and White Hats, off world and on, that are helping our poor human race to finally have some freedom and removal of slavery from our existence. Whether it's wage slavery or actual, as we recognize it, slavery or medical slavery or anything that we have been subjected to. Thank you for working for our freedom and may it fully come very, very soon. But in the meantime, hey, I'm in it to win it. And I'm grateful for this gift of life and looking forward to it getting much, much better for all of us. I hope you are too. So until next time, I don't take your, uh, your viewership for granted. I thank you for your time. And I wish everybody watching this all the best, love and light and all things bright. Good night.